Hi Chemistry, I wanted to do an example of using the redox spontaneity rule to create a redox table involving non-metals because I get a lot of questions about that and it is trickier to identify always because we're typically talking about oxidation and reduction of metals but non-metals are out there and I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so just remember if there's a reaction the OA is above the RA Okay. There's only one reaction here. The rest, the RA is going to be above the OA for all three of these. Okay. But I'm going to go through the process here. We identify OAs and then we just rank them and then complete the reduction half reactions so our table looks good. Okay. In our first reaction, the OA is going to be above the RA because it is a redox reaction. Um, there's a metal involved, silver. Now, silver metal isn't going to be reduced. OAs are reduced. This would be oxidized if it becomes an ion, right? The half reaction would look like this. That is what happened. This is an ionic compound. It's made of ions. This is silver ion plus one. This is bromide negative one. So the other half reaction involving bromine looks like this. This is reduction because the charge has gone down. We'd have to add electrons here. If bromine is reduced, that makes it the OA. There was a reaction, so bromine is going to be above silver. So I'm just going to build my table down here. Okay? And I'm going to complete the reduction half reactions later. Next one. Silver trying to react with iodine. We don't get the products. But again, silver becomes an ion if it undergoes redox. It'll never become negatively charged. That's oxidation. If it's oxidized, that makes it the reducing agent. Iodine must then be the OA. And its half reaction is going to look just like this. It becomes iodide, which has a negative charge. It has to be reduced to get there. If it's reduced, it's the OA. All right? Now, since there was no reaction, the OA goes below the RA. Silver's at the bottom so far, so the only place to put iodine is going to be right here, below silver. Alright, next up, we have copper ions. Okay, plus two. Those could be reduced. It's half reaction, I'll put them up here I suppose, would be gaining electrons to become solid copper. That's really familiar, we've dealt with a lot of uh, cations, positive ions of metals. So that's our OA. No reaction means it's got to be below iodine. Iodine's at the bottom. The only place for copper is below that. Let's go to the last one. Bromine with chloride. Okay. Well, we already know bromine's an OA. Okay. If chloride reacts, it will become chlorine. In order to do that, the electrons would be over here. That's an oxidation. This is our RA. And in all seriousness, every time you see an anion, it's going to be the RA. Because it'll be oxidized. It's not going to become more negative. Okay, so bromines are OA. No reaction means our OA is below the RA. That means chlorine's going to go at the top. It's the only place for it to go. So there's our rank to complete a redox table, we write uh, reduction half reactions. Okay, so for metals, that's going to be ions becoming solid. And for our non metals, it'll be a little bit different. They get electrons to become their ions. Right? So iodine, neutral, it becomes an anion, a negative ion. It needs to gain electrons to get there. So that's what their half reactions are going to look like. Okay, all of these were halogens, they're diatomic. And we saw that in the question with bromine and iodine. Okay, chlorine. If you didn't add this two down here, I wouldn't be too upset. It's more about getting the table. Just a reminder when you have a redox table, your SOA is at the top left and they get weaker as you go down. Copper here is our SRA and our RAs get weaker as you go up. Okay, I hope this helps, good luck.